Hello guys and happy Tuesday. So in today's video, we are of course going to be running through our budget for August. So I actually did this a couple of days ago and of course I thought I would bring you guys behind the scenes to show you what we are going to be doing during the month of August. Now, if you haven't actually seen my previous video where I actually talk about how we did in the month of July in terms of how we tracked our expenses, definitely check that video out if you haven't already. I will of course link that up here for you and in the description below. But essentially what we're gonna do is go over the budget this month and look at how how we're gonna spend our money. So of course, I've got the month of August up. Now, if you are interested in this spreadsheet, you can of course get that from my Etsy store. So I'll definitely link that in the description below. Again, you can get a monthly version, which looks like this, or you can get a weekly version, which is split by the week. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. So just moving over to the first corner, we didn't actually end up overspending last month. We actually ended up underspending, which was good. And I think we just got some random stuff because we did have money left over. In terms of our total income, as I always say, this is something that we do keep relatively private but you guys will know that I do currently earn under £35,000 a year which is just under US dollars so that's really sort of the ballpark that we are working with and my husband's income is also included in that obviously I wouldn't want to share his details but I do think it's important for you guys to know that we have joined our finances and in terms of the income that I do receive from my side hustle at the moment a lot of you guys will know that I do currently reinvest all of that money so currently I don't have any income coming in from there within the budget so again in terms of our total income for this month it hasn't necessarily changed very much at all then moving on to savings and investments so again this has been quite consistent for this month so we are currently putting about 1500 towards our savings and that's going to be saving for a property in case you didn't know and we've also got 200 pounds so 100 pounds each going into our stocks and shares isa so that's basically how we invest in the stock market so you can see that our total is currently 1700 now i'm definitely happy with this i do think if I was to start putting money from my side hustle into that then we'd probably be close to that 2000 mark but at the moment I think again I still want to just focus on just really building up the business first before then putting that into our savings and investment so that's really how we have prioritized it but again very happy with just how we've distributed everything and I'm happy that it's still quite consistent then moving over to essential bills so in terms of our rent in case you didn't know we do currently pay rent and we pay over 1050 every single month so that that hasn't necessarily changed of course our water bill is about 50 a month as well electricity and gas that also hasn't relatively changed it's about 43 pounds our cancel tax in terms of our direct debit it actually has gone up by like four pounds i think last month we paid like 140 and then this month we had to pay 145 i don't know what's really going on there i've literally tried to contact them because i assumed we should be paying like 129 so not sure why we're paying that much but unfortunately i haven't been able to get through to them so i have to keep chasing and yeah we'll just see how that goes but again 145 is what we have to pay for our cancel tax and then we do actually have to pay for broadband this month as well so currently our broadband is around 29 pounds and 60 pence and then moving on to iCloud so that's not really changed much that's about one pound 58 so it's not much and then in terms of our mobile phone bills so myself and my husband we both use Voxy and so I currently pay 10 pounds a month for that and this is why I absolutely love Voxy because you'll see that they do like loads of random different promotions at a time so I actually managed to upgrade to about 12 gigs of data and still pay the same price so I'm still paying 10 pounds a month and now I have 12 gigs of data now I don't know if their promotion is still going on I believe it's gone back down to 8 gig but to be honest I don't even think I'll end up using 8 gig of data so for me I do think it's a really really good deal and my husband I don't know how much data he has but it's more than mine so that's why he pays 12 pounds a month and he also went through I think a special promotion deal or something as well so if you're currently looking for a mobile phone provider then definitely check Foxy out I will of course leave a link in the description below for you because if you do use that link then both of us can also get some gift vouchers so definitely check that out if you haven't already I should say though that I believe it's UK specific so if you're in the UK and you're looking for a new phone provider then Foxy might be the way to go and then of course TV license so that's something that we don't currently pay for monthly at the moment because we just pay for the year and that's just been over and done with again this is something where we will probably want to think about creating a sinking fund for it so that we can start saving up over the next few months for our next one because that will be for next year but at the moment we've already paid it and so we will discuss that later in time and just linking on from that I did have a couple of questions asking whether we actually pay for things like insurance so whether that be life insurance or car insurance now with car insurance I do think I mentioned that in my previous budgeting video where I actually talked through our budget for July rather than just tracking the expenses so if you haven't actually watched that video I will link that up here for you and in the description below but essentially we've already put money aside for our car insurance and we do not pay monthly for our car insurance 
we pay annually and so that's why you won't see it on our essential bills so whether it's to do with car insurance or our road tax we will always pay that yearly and not monthly so that's why it's currently not there and then with regards to the life insurance I actually do have life insurance I don't think I've ever told you guys but I do actually have life insurance the reason being is because when you get a mortgage you probably do need life insurance and so that's why we actually got it so I got that separately with my mum so that's why you won't see that on the bill because we got one again together with that so what we'll then be working towards is obviously when myself and my husband are then thinking about getting a mortgage and also being aware that we don't have any dependents and all things like that for us we still need to work through actually how much we would probably want when it comes to life insurance and obviously because we don't currently have a mortgage together as in myself and my husband because we don't have one currently we're not particularly too sure in terms of how much we will want in terms of our life insurance cover but obviously I already have one with the mortgage that I currently have at the moment and also with my husband's work they also get additional cover so that's definitely something I would say in terms of when you're looking at life insurance I'm definitely not a professional in that field but again everyone's circumstances are going to be different when it comes to things like life insurance and critical illness and all of that stuff you just really need to work out in terms of when the best time is to do it as well particularly if you don't have any dependents like kids or you don't have a mortgage it's going to be different for everyone so definitely make sure you are doing your research but that is basically how we stand at the moment so it probably will change in the future but right now obviously I kind of already have one anyway so yeah that's why it's not currently on the budget so hopefully that explains that and then of course when it comes to giving that is something that I religiously do every single month particularly as a woman of faith but also because I just enjoy giving to others as well so that has been allocated in terms of tithes charity and just giving it to others so yeah in terms of our essential bills not particularly changed that much which is great for us particularly because I think it's just a bit easier when it comes to budgeting and allocating where your spending goes and then moving over to sinking funds so we actually do have some sinking funds which I'm very excited about because those of you might know that my husband wasn't the biggest fan of sinking funds but I feel like he's now warming up to it so in terms of the first one we actually put some money towards car maintenance so as mentioned that is something where we've already put the majority of money for this year towards car maintenance but I am really strange in that we had like £924 for our car maintenance and I really just wanted to round it up to a thousand so that's why we put £74 in there I really hope I'm not the only one that really does that where you just kind of want to round up to the nearest pound or something that's essentially what I've done here so I've just put money just to just to close it off and be like okay we've got a thousand pounds that's just ready for our car in terms of like insurance and MOT and road tax and things like that so that's pretty much money put to towards there and then we have also got one for clothes as well so for now we've just put 20 pounds in there again the reason why is because we're probably not going to be buying many clothes in the future yet but I do think it's quite good to just at least start a sinking fund for that so if there's a time where maybe I need new shoes or maybe he needs new trainers then we can usually just go into the sinking fund and use that money so yeah pretty happy that we've now allocated 94 pounds into our sinking funds for this month so then moving over to spending what I have done is actually put petrol in into this category now for those of you who don't know or didn't watch my previous budgeting video petrol used to be in our essential bills area and the reason why is because my husband actually needs to take the car to work however it was just confusing me a little bit just in terms of how we actually budget things in Monzo so for me I've actually put it in the spending category and then what I did is actually just tweak last month's budget as well with that just so it's all consistent but what we essentially do is obviously make sure that petrol is taken care of and that's a key priority so we have decided to budget 90 pounds for our petrol this month now usually we will budget around 80 pounds but again because it's August and because we're traveling a bit more often now I think 90 pounds is probably what we're going to end up using so that's why we've allocated that budget there so of course we want to be a bit more realistic and then next up is groceries now again with groceries we did overspend slightly last month it wasn't by too much but obviously because you know certain things happened where we had family coming over and we ended up increasing our groceries bill however this month I mean we have also had family over but I'm hoping we can stick to that budget we will see at the end of this month but currently we have budgeted around 136 pounds for the month so that's around 34 pounds a week I would say so actually our next payday is within four weeks so not five weeks like last time so I think 136 pounds hopefully should be okay but we will see so then moving on to toiletries again that's quite consistent we've allocated about 30 pounds towards there and then in terms of our individual spending so if you didn't know we have obviously joined our finances but we do allocate a certain amount towards both of our spending just because you know if I want to go out with my friends then I can spend my money and then he can do 
the same with his so we have still allocated about a hundred pounds each for that so we will see how that goes obviously with last month I didn't actually end up spending that much I mean I even had money left over so we will see what happens this month and then in terms of date night so last month I believe we allocated about 60 pounds we have actually increased that slightly to 70 pounds again just for us to have a bit of wiggle room and obviously to enjoy yourselves because we still want to enjoy our money guys it's not every day you just sit at home and not spend your money so date night I think we've got 70 pounds I think should be enough for this month so we'll see how that goes and then personal care we have allocated about 42 pounds for this month miscellaneous around 35 pounds and then we had some money left over so we have just put that in our pennies jar so currently our total spending is around 605 pounds so obviously again that is including our petrol so if you didn't include petrol it would be just over 500 pounds so yeah we will see how that goes and then again just a quick look at our yearly roundup so this is really how we're doing on average so you can currently see that we're still currently saving around 41 percent of our salary which is amazing essential bills which includes giving currently comes to around 43 percent our sinking funds comes to about one percent and our spending is about 15 percent so you can sort of see in terms of where our money goes majority of it does go to our essential bills and giving but also our savings and investments which is really good we obviously again have a small percentage when it comes to spending but that's just based on our lifestyle and just how we prioritize things so yeah hopefully that kind of gives you a good guideline in terms of what we are planning for the month of august so if you did like this video then please do give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and let me know in the comments are you planning to budget for the month of august i do post every tuesday and friday so if you would like to know more then of course you can subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys on friday